guys, Sincerely from Scratch here. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this adorable almond flavored Hello Kitty cake. Isn't she so cute? Let's get started. So to make the cake, you're going to need five large egg yolks, eight large egg whites, two and a quarter cups of sifted cake flour, one and a half cups of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt, three quarter cups of water, a half a cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of almond extract. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. In a large bowl, mix together your sifted flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Then add the oil, egg yolks, water, vanilla extract, and almond extract to the flour mixture. Mix just until everything is combined. Set that aside for a minute while we beat our egg whites. Beat the egg whites with a mixer on high until stiff peaks form. Then gently fold the egg whites into the rest of the cake batter. Pour the batter into a greased and floured cake pan. This cake rises a lot, so only fill it up halfway. Make sure to tap the pan on the counter to release any trapped air bubbles. Then bake for 55 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center of the cake comes out clean. This recipe made double what I needed for my Hello Kitty cake pan. But if you're making a layer cake, it will make two layers. With my extra batter, I chose to make cupcakes. But if you don't want to do that, you could either have the recipe or bake a second cake to go underneath of Hello Kitty. Once the cake is completely cooled, carefully run a butter knife along the edges. Place a wire rack on top and gently flip the pan. The cake pan may stick a bit to the cake, so be gentle removing it. You can see I've lost a lot of detail on her face, but don't worry, we will fix it with icing. What is most important is that I have a cake that has the general shape of Hello Kitty and it turned out in one piece. Everything else is just gravy. Next we're going to make the almond buttercream. This buttercream is so close to the icing my granny used to put on wedding cakes. Every time I go to a wedding, I hope the cakes are iced with something that tastes this good. And every time I'm just so disappointed. So if you try anything from this video, make it this buttercream. You will need a third a cup of unsalted butter, a third a cup of vegetable shortening, one pound of sifted powdered sugar, one teaspoon of clear vanilla extract, two teaspoons of almond extract, an eighth a teaspoon of salt, and five tablespoons of milk or cream. With a stand mixer, cream your butter and your shortening together. Add your sugar one cup at a time until it's completely combined and be sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl very often. After all the sugar is combined, add the vanilla extract, almond extract, salt, and milk or cream. Beat your icing on high until it's light and fluffy. This makes three cups of icing, which is exactly what we need to ice our Hello Kitty cake. Before we ice our cake, we need to assemble some equipment and color our icing. We're going to need our three cups of buttercream, food coloring in the colors red, lemon yellow, and black, tips three, four, six, eight, and 16, piping bags and couplers, toothpicks, and cornstarch. Now let's tint the icing. Isolate a half a cup, and two quarter cups in separate bowls. Tint the half a cup with red by using a toothpick to slowly add color. I'm adding a little at a time until I get the color that I want. Do the same thing for the yellow and the black, but this time only tint a quarter of a cup. Leave the two cups of icing that remains white. Let's make our piping bags. 
Put the male part of the coupler inside the piping bag. Then add your tip. The first tip I'll be using with red is eight, so I'll be putting that one on. Then twist on the female coupler part. Now my bag is ready to fill. I'm using a glass to help me fill my bag. Spoon the icing in the bag and then make sure you push as much air out of the bag as you can. Twist it up and you're ready to start decorating. I'm using tip 8 to pipe the inside of the bow loop with red icing. Use your finger dipped in cornstarch to smooth it out. Don't worry if it looks like there's too much cornstarch. It will slowly disappear. Next, I'm going to use tip six to pipe the outline of the entire bow inside and out with black icing. Then I'm gonna use tip 16 and red icing to fill in the bow with stars. Use tip 8 to pipe in the nose with yellow icing. If you notice, I messed up the shape of her nose, but then I fixed it when I used my finger dipped in cornstarch to smooth it out. Then I used tip 3 to outline the nose with yellow icing. Use tip 8 to pipe in the eyes with black icing and once again use your finger dipped in cornstarch to smooth it out. Use tip 4 to pipe the whiskers with black icing. And finally, use tip 16 and white icing to fill in the rest of the face with stars. Not only is this cake fairly simple to make and decorate, it tastes delicious too. I hope you give my Hello Kitty cake a try and don't forget to subscribe for more where that came from, and until next time, bon appetit.